Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I'm of the stars and I have for you today a difficult question posed by a person to me. It, it, the question is what to do if your family tries to end your life? Well, the question would be answered differently depending on how old the, the person is whose life was in jeopardy. If it were a child, then they would perhaps need to tell a teacher or uh, a grown-up, another grown-up about it, and that person could then contact Family Protective Services and Family Protective Services would know what to do. Um, if the person is, is an adult and their family tried to end their life, then I have some other thoughts for you. I did some reading on the topic and I found a good article uh, by Dr. Sharon Martin. The title was Cutting Ties with Toxic Family Members, An Act of Self-Care. I found this at the website um, https colon slash slash www.livewellwithsharonmartin.com and I also have some thoughts to share with you on the topic. I tried to put myself in that person's shoes. If a person's family tries to kill them, then I feel they would be trying to take from that person the thing that is most important to them. That is their life. Without their life, they can't do anything at all, don't you know? But if the person's family tries to kill them, then I guess the family sets no value by the thing that person holds most dear. They feel the person's life has no value. So, so then ongoing, in attempting to relate to their family, that person might best steer clear of them. That seems to me to be the thing to do. If their family sets no value on the person's life, even if this only comes up in moments of high temper, then all in a nonce, the undesirable situation might occur again. Whether or not the attempt to kill them succeeded, the experience would be bound to be a harrowing one. I feel that one of the most helpful things the person can do in healing such a difficult situation is to live a peaceful, happy life. In other words, not to have harsh feelings about their family and not to speak badly about them to other people. Yet someone needs to be told so that the person can get over the experience. It might be best for the person to talk with a counselor or with victims' rights so as to get past what happened with the least injury to their family and the best healing for themselves. You can check in Quora on the topic for more opinions on this difficult question. And now, in conclusion, here is the article I was talking about, Cutting Ties with Toxic Family Members an act of self-care by Dr. Sharon Martin in the year 2019. Looks like this. It's online. And uh, that's all for now. Please send me your questions, any questions you have. I'd be happy to research and see what I can do about it. God bless you all and keep you safe and be with you through all your days. In love, light, and joy, this is Alice B. Claggett. I am of the stars. Take a look at my website, Awakening with Planet Earth, https colon slash slash awakeningwithplanetearth.com. Hope to join you there. See you next time.